Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, this is Rest from Rest is Unprofessional. I, I, was, I was going to put up a video yesterday, but as some of you might recall, I started my new job this week, um, and it's a 40 hour a week job. So that means um, less time for me to really be able to push out my stuff, which is kind of a bummer because this is really the thing that I enjoy doing the most. Um, oh, and good news, we have lighting. <laughs> Tell me if you see a difference. Am I see-through um, as always or am I just slightly less see-through? Because even slightly less see-through, um, that's an improvement I am willing to go along with. So let me know what you think. I, <laughs> I finally got lighting. Um, but yeah, so I'm working 40 hours a week now and it's a little bit, it's wonderful, it's a blessing, it's great. I'm grateful. I do believe in God and I am so very appreciative that I got a job so quickly that being said, it is, it, it, it's not exactly what I used to do. Um, it's not adrenaline junkie, um, high pressure, constantly thinking on your toes kind of work. It's working at home and, um, you know, it's good work. You're helping people, but you're just not it doesn't require a lot of brain power, at least not yet. Um, and so they have something, they're implementing something that I've only seen on a very low level, but now because it's such a mega corporation, it's it's something called Microsoft Teams. Stop me if you've heard this one. It's like AOL Instant Messenger from the old days where you have your list of people that your contacts and you can see when they're active, you can see when they're away, you can see when they're busy, you can see when they're offline, um, you can see when they do not want to be disturbed, and you could even see when they're on a phone call. Like if you're using your, your computer to make calls uh, from the company's uh, line. So you can, you basically, you have to keep it up all day, and you have, you're, you're basically, you're being watched. And I do not like being watched. Now, the people that I work with happen to be lovely and they really don't bother you. But if I step away from my computer long enough, it shows me as an active, and we're talking five minutes. And although chances are the people I work with probably won't care, the fact of the matter is, is the company wants this and a lot of companies want to know exactly what you're doing every second of the day since you're working from home and they want to make sure that you're sitting at your computer and you're chained to it and they're making it so that your managers have to connect with you directly through that app so they're not going to call you on your cell phone or text you on your cell phone they're going to message you directly through this messenger and they say oh can we have a phone call now sure what they mean is call me through this messenger so you have to use your computer so you really don't have any opportunity to you know take a long bathroom break or you could if you want to bring your computer in I suppose um, this, and you know again the country the company I'm working for is very great they're really nice very accommodating very welcoming but I and this is a, this is part of corporate America as a whole being watched um, especially when you're someone who has an advanced degree and you've worked a really long time in your field and you've built up enough street, you know, like with, you know, street cred to not um, have to be spied on throughout the day. Um, if, you're, if your employees just can't be accountable at such a high level, then, then maybe you want to rethink those employees. But if they're doing their work and they're, you leave them alone. Um, before I was a medical provider, I worked uh, in nursing and I, I did a lot of it from home and there was no spying. It was you do your job and as long as you get it to us and it's correct and you're efficient and you do what you need to do, we do not bother you. And I always like to stay under the radar because I don't, specifically for this reason, I don't like being watched. I will do my job. I will do a great job. Leave me the hell alone. So this is a pet peeve of mine. Um, it makes me very uneasy and I don't like that at whatsoever. Um, so that was, those are my thoughts for the week. That and I, I mean, I, it's not that I have anything against the five day a week, 40 hour a work, a week, work week. But when it, when you have that kind of pressure, I think that makes the week go by. It's a little bit harder, but so far it's been fine. 
Um, and then what else did I want to talk about today? Oh yeah, I wanted to talk about this new potential ban on menthol cigarettes that Biden has proposed um, that he would like to see Congress impose on us. Because apparently black people, in case you haven't heard Democrats think that black people are so incompetent and so childlike that they're not capable of making their own decisions, the government has to help them make decisions because they're clearly not um, of sound mind to decide for themselves what they like. Um, now, I don't smoke cigarettes and I don't think cigarettes are healthy, um, but essentially the idea is, well, a lot, of, like, a lot of the black community has a problem with smoking cigarettes, which you know impairs health and has um, implications for long-term outcomes with their health. And they tend, to t they tend to go for menthol flavor more than anything. So let's make, let's outlaw them. And with that, they want to outlaw flavored uh, cigars as well. And this is supposed to help people. Um, the, you know, we elect these people. We elect these assholes, these individual people who are once nobodies. They were regular citizens like you and me. And then we say, we want this guy to go in and represent us. And then these sons of bitches go in and they decide, we're going to take it a step further. And we, we don't like that you smoke this. And, and I, think, I think maybe we should take away your fun. Maybe we should take away your flavored shit. Let me tell you something, okay? Black people don't need you to tell them what they can and cannot smoke. You're not their mother. You're not their doctor. This is not your decision. Like you, and 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 I don't even know if it's if you can do that. I don't know if you can ban flavored products. Why not ban soda? What's stopping you from banning soda? What's stopping you from banning flavored ice creams? Why doesn't everyone just get vanilla? Because you know chocolate ice cream is so delicious, and that's why people get fat. You know, why not ban cheeseburgers and you can only have regular burgers? Well, if, if AOC has her way, we're not going to be able to eat any of the burgers. Um, I think we're supposed to kill all the cows or something like that, but we can't eat them. Uh, methane and farts or something. But I, I like to smoke cigars once in a while. Um, when I was a little girl, my dad used to smoke cigars and pipes. And he would let us take puffs as little, my, me and my sister, when we were really little, we were allowed to take a puff from his pipes and his cigars. And this was something, it was just a family thing. So I remember being three years old in a diaper. Or, no, I probably didn't have a diaper at three. I was probably just in my underwear. Um, just walking around in my underwear at three. Um, and, you know, taking puffs from his cigar. And I think I remember one time, the reason why we were not, no longer allowed to smoke his cigars was because I accidentally inhaled my cigar and I started to choke and I was coughing, coughing, coughing. And my mom said, all right, that's it. No more cigars. And three or four year old me sobbed hysterically because I really wanted my cigar back. Uh, <laughs> so, um, but cigars aren't addictive. Cigars, um, they don't have the same effect that cigarettes have. It's something that you do uh, socially, you're not inhaling. And um, I happen to love them. I know that Dennis Prager loves to smoke cigars too, so I'm, I'm in good company, but I, I used to watch his fireside chats and he'd smoke a cigar and then he was told that he could no longer, well, he decided he was no longer gonna smoke cigars because YouTube would, would not allow his video to be shown without a warning or they were not allowing his video up at all they were, they were banning it or uh, censoring it because he was smoking a cigar. Um, so he decided to just throw away the cigar smoking in his videos altogether. I still enjoy a good cigar. My husband and I will smoke a cigar together. Um, uh, more, more recently, I would say we smoke a pipe together. He, my husband buys pipe and a good pipe tobacco and we share it in the yard and it, it tastes delicious. And it's not something that we do daily. It's something that we enjoy. And me personally, I like to go to the cigar store and I like to buy those little mini cherry flavored cigars. And I keep them in my pocketbook. And then on summer evenings or nice warm evenings, um, we like to walk downtown where we live, where it's so beautiful, and we like to take in the sights. And I love to just smoke a cherry flavored mini cigar, which, you know, it doesn't get too bitter and it doesn't last so long. Um, it lasts me just enough time to walk around our neighborhood. And that is one of the few little, you know, 
unhealthy joys that I like to imbibe in once in a while, and I shouldn't even have to explain this. Who the fuck do you think you are saying that I can't enjoy my cherry-flavored cigar uh, because I, be, yeah, to, to lump it in with menthol cigarettes and then to say that one group of people, a bunch of, you know, the minorities that you deem to be inf- too infantile to make decisions for themselves, you know, they shouldn't be allowed to smoke this. Good luck with that. I, I don't know if it's actually going to pass, but the truth of the matter is, is that I think there are conservatives who are too stupid and they go along with things and they, they may sign on to it. I hope they don't. Um, and I hope that companies make a big stink about it because you can't ban flavors in this country. You know, where where does it end? And, you know, conservatives, we have this, this reputation for saying, well, you know, this is a slippery slope. And if you're going to, uh, you know, outlaw this, what's to stop you from outlawing that? If you're going to sign this into law, what's to stop things from kind of going downhill and then everybody calls us crazy and you're a bunch of conspiracy theorists and you know if you don't like this well then just don't do this you know and then it always ends up going the way that we said it would go i don't want anybody in this government republican democrat telling us telling me telling you what you can enjoy what you can't enjoy you know, within reason, do what you want. Do what you want. Make smart decisions. Maybe, maybe think of legislation that can educate people more on health. I mean, I thought we were doing this whole, you know, making health and health education more accessible. I know that as a medical provider, um, a lot of it was based on education. A lot of my education was based on how to educate patients. And if you, if you give people that, um, the education you're giving, you're empowering them to make good decisions. And you know something, some people don't know. Some people simply don't know, and you know they're just doing what their community does, what their culture does, what their family members did, and it gets passed down. And you know some people don't care. You can educate people as much as you want, and you can ban things as much as you want and you know what people are still going to go ahead and they're going to do those things anyway because they don't care and it's not your business and you know someone made a point on this and I thought it was an excellent point we're trying to um, get rid of the police right we're trying to defund the police and we hear about these arrests and oh the police and you had to pull them over for that it's not even a big deal all these people that go you know you arrested him for smoking pot once upon a time when when people really got arrested for that um, what a minor infraction you know why couldn't you just leave him alone and then it ended up leading to and then we then we claim it's racist and the whole you know police have gone crazy let's get rid of all the police well what are you gonna do when you make menthol cigarettes illegal and you make flavored cigars illegal and people get them anyway because guess what people want something they're gonna get it remember prohibition go ahead go ahead and outlaw menthol cigarettes and flavored cigars this is the most asinine thing i can think of that you could possibly do to help people's health people are not smoking as much as they used to this is asinine but go ahead and do that and you know what's going to happen when they're smoking that menthol cigarette and a cop you know just decides like he's got he's being told he's got to meet his quotas and he's got to arrest more people who do you think is getting arrested the person who's smoking the now illegal cigarette. Do you want them to have more power or less? The police don't get to decide what they get to what they what laws they choose to you know arrest for or not. They're, this is the law, and you you have to enforce it. These morons. You you got if you don't see this, if you don't see that this is what you know you you're talking in circles. You can't make up your mind. Do we want to defund the police or do we want to give them, you know, more reason to harass us on the street? Now, I personally support the police, but what I don't support is police having to stop people for stupid bullshit like this. Um, if anything, I think we should be, you know, tearing down stupid laws like that. Um, I digress.
I just wanted to rant on that because quite frankly, I really don't want them taking my cherry cigars. And now what I got to do this weekend, I got to go to the freaking cigar store. I got to get as many as I can and load up because we live in a society nowadays that's just crazy enough to have a Congress that might actually pass this bullshit. Anyway, I'm going to stop there because I worked all day today. It's 5.30. By the time this thing uploads, God knows what time it will be with my internet. Um, and I've got steak to cook for my man. So I'm going to go cook some steak. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Happy Friday. Shabbat Shalom. Um, thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, notifications. Um, tell me what you want to hear. Tell me what you think of these stupid potential laws. And I will see you next week. Bye.